was a big night in Brooklyn as the annual MTV Video Music Awards were handed out. This year's top award, Music Video of the Year, went to Lil Nas X for his single Montero. CBS 2's Ali Bauman was on the red carpet and has more on the star-studded event. The VMAs were back at the Barclays Center for the first time in eight years, and we had a front row seat to the stars on the red carpet. And they said we wouldn't last. Madonna kicked off this year's VMAs, hosted by singer Doja Cat. Outside the Barclays Center, fans waited hours and hours for a glimpse of their favorite stars. COVID, I think, was really challenging for everyone to kind of get through and, and realize how we were going to move forward. And I think it's really amazing that we're all here to be in person. What are you most looking forward to? Um, performances and hopefully, like, walking across the stage or something. The fans have been casting their votes for 14 gender-neutral categories, including Artist of the Year, which went to Justin Bieber. So I want to say thank you guys so much. The VMAs were mostly virtual last year with no in-person ceremony, so Sunday night acted as New York's welcome home party for music. It feels like New York is coming back a little, and, and that's great. It's still a busy body. It's still the heart of the city, but it feels a little bit more calm. The evening was extra special for all the New York natives. Well, I'm at home. I'm from Brooklyn, so I'm from a couple blocks that way, a lot of blocks, but it feels good. Just with the world back and the Barclays Center open again, like, this feels amazing. This was the first VMAs for breakout star Olivia Rodrigo. But the carpet brought back plenty of familiar faces, including boy band heartthrobs Lance Bass, AJ McLean, and Nick Lachey. I'm fangirling so hard right now. <laughs> How are you guys feeling tonight? <laughs> Excited. New York is one of my favorite cities in the entire world, and just to be part of this again after almost 30 years is an honor and a privilege. There were also strict COVID protocols for the show this year, which many of the performers told us made them feel at ease. From the red carpet at the Barclays Center, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.